Hello everyone, this is Andrew Stibberds with Sunset Learning Institute. Today we're going to be reviewing how to use the Cisco Platinum Learning Library and how to use the content, the courses within it. Uh, there were some updates here in August of 2020, so we wanted to make sure you were all aware of how to continue to use this tool. So first off, starting from the beginning, we will of course look for an initial email whether you purchase access to a digital course yourself or you're working through a Cisco Learning Partner. Uh, once you've been granted access to the course, you, you'll probably see that email show up with the course name, you'll see the, lo the nice login button there. Uh, if you click that login button, that will redirect you to the digital learning website or once you've made your purchase or again you're working with the learning partner you can just browse directly to that digital-learning.cisco.com website. Now once you go to that website this is where a lot of the new changes show up. Uh, Cisco has redone a lot of the graphics here and so you can look at a lot of the trending uh, current courses. You can search the Platinum Learning Library to see if there's any courses that you're looking for, see if they're already in there. Uh, but for most of us who want to get into the actual content, you'll in the top right hit that login button. It'll prompt you to have this little pop-up that says, are you sure you want to log in? Say yes, we'll log in with our Cisco account. Now once you've logged in, you'll see your profile there and you'll see the current open courses. This is a course that you are currently accessing so you can quickly resume a course. And so if you're using CPLL through the through a five-day class or you're doing your own self-study, you can just quickly click on one of those open courses and jump back in. Of course you still see your trending topics there in the bottom left. However, if you don't see the course that you want to jump into, or maybe this is your first time, it might not show up there. So what you can do is you can click on My Learning, right in the middle there. Let me go to this next slide. You click on My Learning, and then under Courses, you'll see the courses that are associated to your profile. So if you just recently made a purchase, uh, working with Cisco you might, or working with a learning partner, it may take a couple days, usually around at least 24 hours for that to process through. So if you don't see any courses show up right away, just give that time to process. But if it takes longer than 24 hours, you would talk to your support person. But So that's how we find our course. We go to My Learning Courses or maybe it's an open course. So we click on it and then we will, that takes us to our course summary. So here you can just, you're, you still haven't launched the course yet. You're still looking at the duration, the prerequisites, the lab outline. It gives you the high level information. Uh, but then when we click that launch course buzz button, that takes you into the course content. Now, nothing's changed here. For if anyone's used Platinum Learning Library before, um, all that was changed was the website, how to access, how to log in, how to launch the course. Um, anybody who's used the Learning Library before, from here on out, it's all still the same. So just as a quick little review, using the Cisco Platinum Learning Library, uh, when you first log in, immediately you are in the book, in the digital book. So you've got your, in the top right, you've got your navigation buttons, paging forward, paging back. You can search not just the page, search the entire book, the entire course for any keywords or phrases. In the top left, you've got those three lines with an arrow. That opens your course menu. That's how you're going to do most of your navigation. And of course, you can book, bookmark any pages or put in help for Cisco. Uh, the get help button is also how you can put, uh, request help but also leave feedback or notes if you see any uh, typos in there. Opening the course menu, of course you have your table of contents, go through, quickly find any chapters that you want to jump down and jump to a specific topic. You've got your bookmarks tab, jump to any pages that you've bookmarked earlier. Uh, for the medals and achievements, that's where when you complete a section, you complete a lab, you've uh, gone through, there's various medals and achievements you can earn as you do, as you go through the content. And of course, the leaderboard, you can compare yourself to uh, other users of this course. Uh, of course, we have the lab listening button. So we'll click that to go jump to our labs. Labs are spaced throughout the book, but you can jump to a specific lab if you wanted to. Uh, there's another example of the table of contents if you wanted to jump to a specific section, a specific topic. Under the lab listing, you can see a list of all the labs, and so you can jump to a lab that you want to practice on, maybe getting ready for an exam, maybe about to have an implementation. 
So we'll select a lab and then we'll tell it to initialize. This spins up the either virtual, sometimes hardware resources, depends upon the course, and it'll initialize, get the lab ready for you. Once it is fully initialized, you'll have 10 minutes to actually launch to go into the lab, otherwise the resources will be given away for, to someone else. So don't go away for too long. Don't, don't step away from the computer for too long when you're initializing a lab. And then once you get into a lab, you've got your, on the right hand side, your CLI or GUI interface, depends upon the, which course you're in. You've got a couple tabs in the top there, changing between the different devices, look at the overall scenario. Uh, the lab topology, you can see the visualization of what devices you're working on. And on the left hand side, you've got your lab steps. And so they'll tell you step one, just do this, step two, do this. Uh, if you want a detailed walkthrough, you can click that show me button and it shows you an example of doing that step. Uh, very helpful, if, especially if it's something we've never configured before. Hopefully this has been helpful and we look forward to seeing you in class.